Blink-182 is an emo band now, by the way. Like, that's that's what I meant by that. Okay. I have two topics, speaking of time management. Okay. That <laughs> On that note? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> on that note, I got two topics that I want to just quickly touch on. In between your rant about how you're not good at time management, okay? Yeah. So okay, okay. So here's the the age old question. All right. I, I've been doing this a lot lately. Like, what was mm -hmm. better, this album or this album? What song mm -hmm. performed better? I've been doing this on a lot of my videos. So what mm -hmm. I want to ask is, who is better, Matt Skiba or Tom DeLonge? Incomplete question. What's the question? I was hoping you'd get there because that's not the whole question. Like that's right. the title of the video, of course, with a Blink-182 yeah. backdrop just to get people like, ah. The real question is just like, what are you talking about? Like who's but, better at what? Not not, not enough info given is my response Correct. to that question. Right, yeah. yeah. Yeah, so the real question would be, it's a twofold question. Who was better with Blink-182 and mm -hmm. why? And who's the better songwriter? Because I think they both have a very specific answer and they both have a right answer. And I think that it's a, it's a conversation that needs to be had more because mm -hmm. they're so closely linked. And I, I don't want to be an idiot and be like, oh, Matt Skiba was better for Blink-182. Even though I'm a Skiba simp. Okay, I, I get mm -hmm. it. I know. Mm -hmm. But the, the real deal is, is that, that Tom's the better part of Blink-182. Um, I like a lot of his songs better than I do Mark's songs. Not uh, a ton better. I, I like Mark Hoppus a lot. But but I, when I was doing this stuff, that's when this all popped in my head. I was like, I got to bring this up because mm -hmm. I, if you had asked me, who do you like better, uh, Mark Hoppus or Tom DeLonge, I, I would have said Mark, Mark like off the cuff. But mm -hmm. I don't know that that's true. I like the lyrical content that that Tom brings, and his voice is more my speed too. I found out. I I, I don't disagree with anything you just said, and and I didn't have that revelation till literally like three months ago. Because Weird, I've, always, I've always been such a Mark guy, like very specifically. And even like my list today, it's mostly Mark songs. Okay. But when I think about what makes Blink-182 Blink-182, it's Tom, actually. Like Mark, Mark is kind of the baseline of their sound. I think he is their sort of front man. He is their lead singer in that kind of way. But what gives them their uniqueness? What makes them the crappy punk rock? What gives them all their little flavor? No matter what style that they're doing, whether they're doing the emo style or the pop punk style, it is Tom. It is what Tom brings that sort of levels them out. It is Tom that kind of makes them Blink-182. That's why that's also the answer to the first question. It's who was better in Blink-182. Tom was better for Blink-182. And I, I okay. think both of those are, are the truth. So my response to that would be, that's a subjective statement. So you're right because it's your opinion. Mm -hmm. I still think the answer to that question would be Tom. But I like Mark better i like the style of music he plays better i like him as a person better mm -hmm. it just happens that like i like tom's voice and lyrics better everything else give me mark but tom's voice i like and it's not by much dude i'll take mark's voice i don't i'm not complaining mm -hmm. uh and you'll see when we get to my list, you're going to be like, oh, wow. Like when we get the top 10 is I, I apologize in advance for my top 10. It is definitely just mine. Nobody else cares about my top 10. Yeah. Me. Um, but I I would say that that Tom's the reason that they went the direction they did that turned me off of the band. So while objectively, mm. did they do the things they did because of him? And that makes him the one that you would say is the better part. Mm -hmm. I, I would have to concede that that's the truth. But. I prefer where they were headed with like Dude Ranch. Enema was a little too polished for me. But you know, the success that they got, the some of the crazy stuff that they did, it was because of, of Tom. I I I I I think you I know, know what I, you know what I mean. I, I know exactly um what you're what you're saying. Uh because because if, if if like you concede, because that's my problem with the skiva stuff in general, is that I would be okay if the skiva stuff was trying to be like dude ranch. I didn't like the Skiba stuff trying to be Neighborhoods and the Untitled album. I don't think the Skiba, Skiba trying to do that version of Tom didn't really work as well as if whenever he kind of tried to do just original Blink-182, then it was just kind of Alkaline Trio, and it was kind of okay whenever it went into that. So I agree. If you don't like the direction that Blink went into, then I could see that as like a demerit against Tom, um, yeah. the way that you're saying. And, like, I, that, and I don't, that I don't like it at all. Yeah. 
I also think though, the only thing about that is, is a lot more credit of that in general needs to go to Travis. Because I think if yes, if if, if yeah. it was always if it was always just Mark's band, it would have been just kind of very light, it, even lighter pop punk than it was to start with. That's what it would have been, you know what I mean? Yeah. And, and even to this day, the way they still write songs, like like Mark has said, that him and Tom basically write what they call like nursery rhyme punk, and they send it to Travis, and Travis basically chops and screws it and sends it back to him, and that's how they make modern blink. So it's the combination of both of those guys, really. And, th and those are the two camps always of the band. You know, Travis gets along with both the guys, but like whenever there was the big split, he was the go-between. He was still friends, yeah. he was still friends with Tom, and he was still in the band. Um, with Mark, so it's, all, it's also Travis is somewhat to blame for that, but Travis is such a big figure on his own that right. you know, it's it's never like Mark versus Tom versus Travis. Travis is kind no. of his own being. Yeah, yeah. So, so, so to be real clear for anybody that's already pissed off in the comments, dude, I, I don't <laughs> have any like I love this band, and that includes all three members of the band, mm -hmm. and uh, hopefully people paid attention to what I was saying when I said that most of the songs that I really enjoy are are, are Tom DeLonge songs because. People tend to like grab a hold of like four or five words that I'll say in a video and they'll respond to that as if that mm -hmm. was my opinion. And it's just stupid. Mm -hmm. I don't know any other way to say it. It's it's so dumb because I spend time arguing with these idiots. Why are you getting the comments? Because that's what I'm I'm available, man. That's what I do. I do I'm I'm part of it's a community to me. So hopefully people will understand that. Okay. That out of the way. Uh, oh, wait, no. We didn't talk about... Okay, so that's a two-pronged question. Mm -hmm. The second part was like, who's the better songwriter? Matt Skiba or Tom DeLonge? I stand very firm on the Matt Skiba part because I yeah. would say that Blink wouldn't have gotten where they got without the influences of Matt Skiba. That comes from Tom DeLonge's own mouth. He has said that, not me. So if you want to yell at somebody, yell at Tom. But I think that they kind of needed each other more than they ever knew. And I think that Alkaline Trio has benefited somewhat from Matt being in Blink a little bit. Like, Oh, yeah, for sure. I think that the – like, you'll see when we get to my list, dude, there is a lot of songs off of California and Nine. I'll just go ahead and throw that out there. Like, yeah, I have 30 songs on my list, and I would say half are probably from those two albums. Maybe not half. A good chunk though but you'll you'll see why now my top 10 not so much but mm -hmm. you know uh that's why i kept the other 20 songs i wanted to throw some shine on two albums that i personally mm -hmm. really enjoy not enough to like i don't even know if i own those i think i have nine i don't think i have california um whatever though it's all good okay so what do you think about that do you think you think that skiba was the best it, it's, it's kind of a loaded well, question because that's hard Blink's because i like, get really pissed yeah because i i mean i like alkaline trio better than blink so i'm gonna say yeah that it's that it's skiba just by kind of default you know what i mean but yeah but i also think it's kind of, it's kind of an unfair question in that same as they they did they did do different things though too like i don't sure I, sort of yeah i don't know that like i don't know i mean that. how different are they they're not that different but I don't know, like, yeah, I I would take I would take songs written by Matt Skiba than I would than songs written by Tom DeLonge. If that's just what the question is, then yeah, yeah, that is that yeah, is. Yeah, and, and, and it, like I said, I don't I don't know that Matt Skiba like necessarily would have had Tom DeLonge's career if he had been in his position though either. Like, you know what I mean? I don't know. If the, I don't know if, if that doesn't Matt mean Skiba he's not better. Is writing those songs that doesn't happen? But yeah, but if yeah, you, if you, but if you ask me, do I like Alkaline Trio better than Blink One Eighty Two? Then yes. Like that's because like that's me the, the only way you can really answer that question then because saying like I don't know if you'd have his career if given the same position is is to me to me sounds like well I don't know if Willow's Barbecue in Texas would have the same uh, career as Chili's or Applebee's given he did have the same position he didn't take it it, it didn't it, it, his food is far better but it it just wasn't in the cards for him to be a giant chain. Blink-182 is the giant chain. Alkaline Trio is the smaller independent place that you go and enjoy, uh, you know, a little bit better quality, but the, it's a little more harder a to get More to. of a regional chain, I would say. If we're gonna be, yeah. Yeah. So, like, and I don't mean that to disrespect anybody. People stop taking shit. I have, hate that I have to say this stuff, but stop taking this stuff as disrespect. It's just a conversation. If mm -hmm. I didn't like Blink-182, I sure as hell wouldn't be spending time talking about them, listening to them, and making podcasts about it. Um, okay, so we've established that uh maskiba is the superior no plan <laughs> i was like wait a minute hey, i'm not co-sighted there I'm, no i was no, no, going no. along there look at no, that I'm, I'm, <laughs> look at that I, you almost caught me there uh, dude i know uh 
No, man, I just wanted, I was just curious. I think it's an interesting conversation. I think it's one that needs to be had because I think that they're so more closely linked than even I realized that uh-huh. I have to concede that, that uh, Tom is a very integral part of just where they've gone. Mm-hmm. And, and I, but I also think that, man, dude, I don't know that they would have gotten there without Matt Skiba's influences on Tom. Uh, and there's more than just Matt Skiba influences. Like I didn't say that either. He's got tons of influences. You can hear the Smiths and the cure all throughout their later material. They do like so, the same mm. stuff, by the way. Like that's also the thing. They well, do, that's like, kind of, I know, but people they are fans things. of like that eighties new way. Like both of those guys are very much fans of the that. issue. Isn't whether or not we know that the issue is, is that a bunch of blink stands on the internet. <laughs> don't listen to anything but blink. Mm-hmm. So they have no idea what they're talking about. And they get in the comments and they're like, 